All right, we're gonna do a movie update on the latest wood splitter that a friend of mine's making. This is the engine he's got it done. It's a uh, John Deere engine, 68 horsepower, I believe. We went up to Pennsylvania and got the steel to make the, the box for it. I'm gonna go up to another thing. He made the hydraulic tank. He's pretty good at everything he, he does. He made the, the little engine know what's going on box. Coming around here to this side, we've got uh, the fuel filter. Right now he's just got that as a gas tank. We're gonna make another gas tank. New alternator, one, one wire GM alternator. Mounted the air cleaner up here. It's a um, radiator out of a Dodge truck. Here's part of the oil cooler here. Maybe I can get around front and see the oil. There's the oil cooler. We're still gonna put um, bars and stuff on there so you can't can't hit any of that stuff. I'm trying to get around here. So that's what the that's what the engine looks like. The engine thing got a little muffler up here. Looks pretty good. Now we'll walk up. We'll walk up to the other the shop where we make the stuff. We we're splitting wood today, and we got uh, there's there's a splitter down there that I showed in a movie a couple times ago. We we split that little pile today. That's about a hour and a half's worth of wood, I guess. It's it splits pretty good. Then coming over here, just more junk around here. We got to walk up to the other shed. I would, I would make it two movies, but once again, I don't know how to cut and splice and edit and stuff like that. Here's a guy coming down with a bobcat now, getting, getting something. Here's where we're drying his wood. The sun cooks this, cooks this just like an oven in there. Solar heat in there. I don't know how hot it gets in there, but it cooks the wood in a fraction of the time. Here's a little forklift somebody just gave us. We do everything on junk that people give us. Truck down there you redid. Go up and show you some of the parts up here for the new wood splitter that's being made. It's a box wood splitter, trying to increase the speed of things. Uh oh, I got a radio going, I have to turn out. I'm not sure if I know how to turn this out off. Hold on a second. Well, I learned how to turn it down. Let me turn some lights on. Try to explain everything. This cylinder here, he's got a pair of those cylinders there. That's gonna be lift the table, because we're building with a table. There's another one of those cylinders there. Here's the cylinder that's actually doing the splitting. It's a six inch bore. This is the head of the head of the splitter. There's the pinholes for it down there. Okay, and then you go back here. Let's see what else is back here. Here's where we're making, uh, turn on some lights. This is the splitter itself. This stuff is four, this stuff here is four and a half, four and a half inches high, and I think an inch and a half wide. And uh, here's where we're drilling and tapping. This thing will get drills to put a guide on it. It's, it's going to get a bar that comes over. It's a three inch piece that comes over to guide the slider on so it can't pop out. The bottom plate's half inch thick. It's going to come out and spread out at the top. So that's, that's what it is. So this is where the table's going to go. It's, it's going to be eight foot long, three foot wide. Got the uh, bronze bushings in there, made it so they can go on there and off. This is back. The back of the cylinder here is going on this stuff here. Like I said, this stuff's an inch and a half wide, four and a half inches, four and a half inches thick. So that's an update on the latest wood splitter. That thing, that old mag drill, that'll that'll drill them and tap them. So it doesn't take. It still takes a lot of time, but oh, this is the uh, hood for the splitter down there. That's the hood. Now we're working on. Oh, this is a little engine that I picked up at a auction yesterday. A little two-cylinder boat motor auction. Or boat motor. 
Now we're working on this over here. Here's the, uh, you're moving. Got to move a car. There's the uh, saw. YouTube, send it to YouTube. This thing here is a weird looking piece. It's going to be a, a base for a um, bucket truck lift. So we're going to put some supports on the legs, try to stiffen them up a little bit. And then I'll mount the, uh, I bought a, uh, what do you call it, a knuckle, or not a knuckle boom, a, a boom truck, a bucket truck. And I want to be able to move it with a bobcat in and out of the apple trees and that kind of stuff. Work on the house. When I got to get up, it goes up about 16, 17 foot, maybe 19 foot, somewhere around there. So that's it for today's video. There's a long way look away at the, um, somebody said you could zoom in. Yeah, you can. That's the uh, wood dryer. There's a pile of wood down there. There you can see the wood down there now in the distance. That's about it for today. 